so here is my machine in the cargo trailer of course uh so it's an eight inch cab king grinding polishing machine for making cabochons little piece of uh lace agate that i'll make a cabochon out of here in a, shortly but so one of the things that i want to be able to do is i want to be able to take my uh little cabin my little camper here out into the wild and uh still be able to uh, make a cab here and there still be able to support myself uh pay for gas and all the things that i need in order to uh live life uh, so i need to work so here's my machine this is this is how i earned the money that i spend obviously it's on the shelf and it's a nice sturdy shelf and and i i'm happy with the shelf so far these drain for these plastic trays normally they go on the back side this curve is it sticks out way too far for that to go on the back side so what i have is a, a pvc pipe elbow and if you pull off that plastic tubing and then this slides over the top of that I'm trying to do it with one hand here but anyway that that fits on this is like a rubber piece and if you push that on it fits on real tight and so uh, you know you can get it to look like that which is a little bit better as far as how far away it is from uh, the wall. If, if I were to uh, reverse those and put the drain on the back side like it's supposed to be. So if, if I do that, I'll have an elbow that comes out the back side, you know, towards the middle, and then a tube of PVC, and then another elbow that will uh, drain into these cups. Um, instead of having these tubes and the bucket down here for the drainage. Now this has been set up for a couple days now and I've made a, a handful of cabochons uh, out here in my trailer. And, and this is fine, I mean, this tube sticking out I mean I could take them off and it and it's fine but I really would rather have them not there I'd rather have them in the back so uh, as I make that back there I'll keep you updated and make a video on that it's it's not quite there yet there's a, a couple little issues I, I need to raise this up just about an eighth of an inch or something in order to, to use those uh, elbows so i've got an issue or two to do there i haven't done a lot of electrical work in the trailer yet i'm still working off basically uh extension cords and and power splitters so uh just got a cord coming in from the outside and uh plugging into a splitter and it has the uh uh the light and the motor plugged in there and uh, another cup for this side the uh the drain should come out and fit in there um up here is another shelf uh and i've just been putting my uh cabbing stuff on there my little uh, safety glasses uh reading glasses some hearing protection and my jug of uh, water the little valve and the tube that comes down supplies water to the wheels and I have my spray bottle that I use sitting up there and uh, of course the window is right where I wanted it to be and uh, I mounted a GoPro there 
uh, as my other angle, so, you know, so I have a camera up there that I can uh, zoom in and get this area, and then I put the GoPro over there. Now I'm thinking, I know that, that we're going beyond, but I may be getting rid of this uh, flap, this plywood flap, three quarter inch plywood flap on a hinge up there. And it just kind of smooths out the transition when you put down the the, the tailgate, the, uh, the ramp door. Uh, when you put that down, that just kind of makes the bump a little bit less. But honestly, I, I don't know that I need it. I mean, the only thing that I plan on really bringing in and out of here is a motorcycle and it has rather large wheels and it rolls quite easily over that bump doesn't really need it so i might i might take that off and save myself 30 pounds or whatever that weighs uh, we'll see all right and so that's uh the end of the tour of my uh my cabbing machine in the trailer it isn't completely finished i'm sure like i said i have to work on the uh the drainage and uh, like I said in a previous video, this uh, machine will, ne will, will never ride around in place unless I do some other stuff to it, make it more permanent. Uh, I just don't trust the shelf enough that uh, pieces and parts wouldn't start falling off. Maybe on city streets it'd be fine, but on the uh, dirt roads, I would never do that. So the machine will be disassembled and uh, put away uh, for driving around. And then once once I get to my location and if I have a motorbike and the motorbike is moved out, then I can set up my machine, set up my bed and, uh, you know, recreate and work and be in the outdoors all at the same time. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, use the cameras to record uh, we're gonna go ahead and make this uh, cab and uh, it'll be the first time recording uh, a cab making in here uh, I hope the light is good enough we'll see mm.